Hello and welcome to the continuation of our KSP career and in today's episode I will be launching the first component of our space casino, the electrical one, containing batteries, solar panels, radiators and all the wonderful communication equipment. But first let's get into research. So first we're going to research the large volume containment, then we're going to take a look at the advanced metalworks because maybe that would help help us design and construct our you know space station so i'm gonna get into that and i'm gonna take it as a research i have 182 to research shall i be taking this efficient flight systems well technically i don't need it it's for helicopters and stuff but what the hell let's do it okay so Let's roll out the Space Casino solar plant. Yes, in previous episodes I have been showing you how to build this and I have a small, you know, surprise. As always, as you know, we are launching here. Look at our, well, butt plug, uh, rocket go up and it looks wonderful and it goes equally as beautiful. So, uh, yeah, as some of you have now by now figured, at the end of the each episode, at the end screen, if you have watched it all the way to the end, you will see a link to the new and yet unpublished episode as a small thank you for sticking with me, looking at my stuff, enjoying my content, and that's a basically a small treat and small way of me saying thank you for enjoying it. All right, so as we are launching our first component, we will be launching it into the space casino orbit. And for those of you who are, who are not familiar, it's above the 350 kilometer line altitude. So I'm planning of going roughly around 400 to make it a little bit, you know, steeper. That's the reason why I'm actually gonna go first for the 100 apoapsis, and then we're gonna raise our apoapsis even further. So. As you can tell, I am pointing the rocket maneuver prograde. It will take us 1,897 meters per second to get into orbit. And I have decided to release the fairing. There we go. Three, two, one, and ignition. Look at it go. So yeah, this is the first of the space casino components and well, it, it don't it doesn't have an RCS thrusters or modules or something like that. So that's something that we'll need to keep in mind for the second launch because this will be also on the other side as well. However, I'm now starting to build, so yeah. That space casino is going to be monstrous. Monstrous. We have to have uh, you know, asteroids, light shows, you know, casinos, jack blackjack, roulette tables. Although I'm technically not sure how you would do a roulette table in four in zero G. <gasps> okay, ideas anybody? So yeah, I'm thinking probably we'll have to have a rotation ring, uh, but it will be easier to cheat. Imagine somebody hacking the gravity so that the ball ends in the right place, and then it stops and it goes all the way. Yeah, I digress. Sorry. Anyway, so our orbit we're gonna uh, now extend to be I'm thinking about 400 ish, just to be or close thereabout that would provide a beautiful view of Kerbin once when the actual you know tourists and you know casino players start coming along so my entire vision uh, this will be a uh, my one of my grandest projects uh, at least now in the early game and it's kind of funny for me to say early game with the episode number 98 yeah so <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah that's one of the things that will be you know like earlier bigger projects mega projects uh so like a big space you know casino just above curb and it should it should provide a wonderful view we should have definitely a coppola module that will provide a glorious view of curb and we should probably have some decent light shows to make it th things interesting we should put some music and you know yeah, like dance dance etc so all right so now for the circularization burn, which should take us 175.3 meters per second. I initially thought to make one grand episode where I launch a couple of components, but then it would take me much longer time to make it. And uh, I think these small bite-sized are e equally as nice because I can post them more frequently. I can actually do stuff and I can post it more frequently. And I'm pretty sure you guys enjoy the regular content updates, you know, more smaller ones as opposed to uh, one more you know substantial one let me know because i know well 
as I have been told by some of my <laughs> viewers, uh, they want up to 10-12 minutes because they're ideal for poop videos, you know? What can I tell you? We all have our tastes. So, <laughs> I was happy to know that I help people with whatever they're doing, whatever their business is, so that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, folding the solar panels, unfolding the radiators, and of course we have to be careful with the placement. Solar panels should be ensuring that the sign that the sun lights them as much as possible, while the radiators should be to radiate off heat, meaning that the sun should hit them as little as possible. So that's why I have chosen my inclination to be, you know, orbit normal. So, there you go. Look at that beautiful thing. As I said, I've reset the camera so that we have a nicer view and look at it. Gorgeous, right? Yeah, I just thought as much to, you know, enjoy and appreciate the beauty that is this space station. Or the beginnings of it, at least, so to say. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, and by the way, guys, just a small reminder, if you're enjoying the content, well, don't smash, just gently fond the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.